Welcome to this Advent Carol service, recorded in St Oswald's Church, Malthus, before lockdown started. Recorded under the direction of Stuart Smith, our Director of Music, and sung by the choir here at St Oswald's. Readers are from our church family here, Brian and Angela and Anne. Welcome then to this festival as we enter eager and expectant into this season of Advent. Looking forward to the birth of the Christ child, let us renew in ourselves that vision of God's perfect kingdom, which is the end of all our strivings and the consummation of God's loving purposes for us. Sorrow and penitence, we confess our failures and shortcomings and seek pardon for those sins which frustrate his redemptive purposes and hinder the advent of his reign of love. So in prayer, praise and song, do we give voice to the hope set forth in the scriptures that his kingdom shall come. And as we prepare for that day to dawn upon us from on high, so we commend ourselves and the whole human family to his keeping. Praying for a world suffering under coronavirus, in our anxiety and in difficult days, let us place our hope once again in him who comes among us as the child of Bethlehem. May he guide us into the way of peace. Give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death and kindle in us the fire of his love. All these thoughts and prayers we bring together in the words Jesus himself taught us to pray as we say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we
The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my light and my salvation. It is time for us to wake out of sleep, for deliverance is nearer to us now than it was when first we believed. It is far on in the night. Day is near. Let us therefore cast off the deeds of darkness and put on our armour as soldiers of the light.
reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 6. In the year the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke. And I said, woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongues. The seraph touched my mouth with it, with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Thanks be to God. that she has served her turn, that her penalty is paying, 
that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Thanks be to God. by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary says, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
in joyful expectation of his coming to our aid, we pray to him, Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to our church as Lord and Judge. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your rule. Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your world as King of the nations. Before you, rulers will stand in silence. Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your people with the message of victory and peace. Give us the victory over death, temptation and evil. Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to us as Saviour and Comforter. Break into those areas of our lives where we live with failure and distress and set us free to serve you forever. Lord, hear us. Come, Lord Come to us from heaven with power and great glory to lift us up to meet you with all your saints and angels to live with you forever. Amen. And the Collect for the First Sunday in Advent. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life we walk through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and for ever. Amen. Go into the world, conscious that Christ is there and within you. Go into the world with a song on your lips and a prayer in your heart and mind. Greet adversity with faith challenges with resolve, predicament with warmth, enmity with love, the mundane with creativity, the commonplace with expectancy. Thank God for the privilege of sharing life with him as you share it with others. Embrace the lonely, comfort the sick, Defend the outcast, encourage the sorrowful, welcome the stranger, accept and affirm them all. Do this today, tomorrow, and until the end of time. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen.